Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the first time I've done anything with MQTT Spy. Um, the guys have done this have done a lovely job. I've got to have to um, get on to them and, and talk to them and say, look, what can I do to help? Or, you know, I haven't got much money, but I'd like to um, try and get rid of this thing down the bottom here. But they've done a great job. It's under the Eclipse banner. Um, here is my server here, which is running internally. It's a Mosquito server, which is pretty good for me. I'm running on my Raspberry Pi. Um, this is my internal address here, which I normally I've put the name this the name here, my host name. I've put that in there, and it has worked. It gives me a client ID, which is here. It generates a client ID for me. Um, then you set your uh, preferred um, name. You can. Pick any name you want. It doesn't have to be admin. As this is just a um, training kind of video. Um, and then you give it a password. Then you can come here and you can... I've got a topic uh, which I'm trying to get to work, which is called ESP. And I could put ESP slash... Um, it's dead, dead gym, but not as we know it, or something like that to tell me that the thing isn't working anymore. Um, there's other tabs here, I haven't used these ones yet. There's a log tab, um, I haven't used that, but I'd say that would be handy. Um, anyway, uh, and then once you've, once you've set this up here, normally you'd apply it, then you'd close this. Now, it just reopened, if you hadn't noticed, it went red, yellow, yellow and then green. So green is good, it's working. And then you can go to the tab, and it's already removed um, previous setup. So here we go. We're going to have to set it up ourselves. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here, set up new. Now the topic we're going to class is ESP logon and slash capture everything. So the slash hash is the capture everything that belongs to ESP logon. So that's done there. And that should go green. But it's not. So what the hell's going on now? Anyway. Um, something's gone wrong there. Anyway. Normally that would be green. Uh, of course, when I'm doing a live shot, it's not going to do it, is it? So the next thing I'd do is... Uh, I'd start a topic. <laughs> Test one. And then my next one would be something like Hello World. And then I'd come over here and publish that. And hopefully down the bottom it's still telling me yellow, so I don't know what I've done wrong. But that's actually sent that to the server with a yellow tab. Normally this tab should be green. Uh, I don't know what I've done wrong. But like you could just change that to uh, next topic, number two. And then you could say, say it again in this case. So you, you, you're changing the topic all the time. So that's how you use um, the spy software. Now, I'm using this spy software, but I can also look at, um, I've got Wireshark running down the bottom here, and I can capture certain packets using Wireshark, which I'm not going to show you at the moment, but um, I'll be able to see what's going on. So hopefully that will help me fix that that keeps blinking and will not update from the um, node red server that I've got running down here but I'd have to go and find it so I could, it's here um, which I've I stuffed up on my uh, bad JSON script but I'll fix that up um, I've just learned that you have to use brackets anyway um, 
that's my first video on MQTT SPY. Any questions? Leave them down the bottom. If I can answer them, I will. Um, just remember that this is the first time I've ever used this and it's as much as I know so far and I'm only doing this for someone that needs it.